So, you think you're good at naming things in organic chemistry? Well, here is a load of stuff for you to name. Now, these are the amino acids, um, and you've probably come across like glycerol or lysine, they're kind of like common names, but this is chemistry, I want the proper names for them. You're going to have to bring in a lot of skills to do this one, it is tricky, but don't let that put you off. Here we have alanine, here we have our dominant carboxylic acid group, this is carbon number one, this is carbon number two, this is carbon number three, we have an amino group over here, so this is two amino two amino propanoic acid aspartic acid here we have um, a acid group over here carboxylic acid group over here numbering from the right hand side so we get the lowest numbers possible one two three four so that is four carbons in total amino group here two amino Butan dioic acid. That's one word. Two amino butan dioic acid. Glutamic acid. We have acid groups here and here, an amino group here. Numbering again from the right hand side so we get the lowest numbers possible. One, two, three, four, five. Two amino pent and dioic acid. Glycine here, nice easy one. Here is our carboxylic acid group. Here is an amino group. We have one, two carbons here, so this is amino eth anoic acid isoleucine here we have our um, uh, carboxylic acid group so carbons go one two three four five we have a two amino we have a three Methyl, so that is two amino, three methyl, pentanoic acid. Leucine here, um, obviously very similar to isoleucine, just slightly different. So here's our carboxylic acid group, one, two, three, four, five. We have a two amino and we have a four methyl, two amino, four methyl, and oic acid. Lysine here. Here is our um, carboxylic acid group, numbering them one, two, three, four, five, six. That gives us a two amino, gives us a six. Amino making it two six di amino hex and oic acid. Um, here we have phenyl alanine, we have our um our carboxylic acid group here one, two, 
three. This gives us a two amino and a three phenyl, making it two amino, three phenyl, prop and oic. Acid. Serine next. Here's our carboxylic acid group. One, two, three. That is a two amino and a three hydroxy, giving us two amino three. Hydroxy, three carbons, prop and oic acid. Threonine, here's our carboxylic acid group. One, two, three, four, uh, two amino, three. Hydroxy, two amino, three hydroxy, four carbons, butte and oic acid. Valine, this is the last one. Um, obviously, all the other amino acids have IEPAC names. They're just really complicated and way beyond the um, spec, or way beyond what I would expect any other student to be able to do. So here's our carboxylic acid group. One, two, three, four. That is two amino, three methyl, Two amino, three methyl, four carbons, butte and oic acid. Well done guys, some of those were tricky. Oh, and please, 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 can you just do me a favour and refer to them by their proper names in biology? Your biology teachers will absolutely love it, I promise. <laughs>